First, we're going to remove the front faceplate. We've determined that we're going to be doing a top mount installation, so we're going to remove the knockouts from the top of the unit. Next, we need to mount the canopy. We've determined that we're going to be installing this exit sign at 120 VAC, so we're going to cut and cap the 277 VAC wire. Cutting is not required, but we definitely want to cap off the wire at the end. Next, we're going to want to take our installation wires and push them through the center of our adapter plate. Now it's time to wire the exit sign. Never attempt to wire an exit sign while the electricity is still on. Always turn the power off first. We're going to connect our two white common wires with a wire nut. And we're going to do the same thing with our two remaining 120 VAC wires. Once both wires have been wire capped, we're going to feed the wire up into the junction box. Now we want to attach the metal adapter to the junction box. We're going to push all the excess wire up into the junction box, put our mounting canopy flush against the ceiling, and begin screwing in the two long screws to attach the mounting canopy to the junction box. With the electrical wiring complete and the unit mounted, we now need to attach the battery to the circuit board. If you installed a combo unit like in this video, you can adjust your lamp heads and remove the clear plastic coating. It's time to reattach the front faceplate. We've knocked out the right arrow which points to our nearest exit. We're going to test the emergency mode of the exit sign. Thank you for watching this video.